This is one of the most requested videos on my channel. How to turn Figma designs into real apps and websites in minutes. If you don't know Figma, it's the app that top designers use to sketch and prototype world-class interfaces. Basically the blueprint behind the apps you use every day. But here's the crazy part. With AI and vibe coding, we can now take those blueprints and instantly turn them into fully working apps. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it step-by-step. Step. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so first off, we're gonna be starting off in Figma and I'm gonna show you exactly how to take either a template or a pre-existing design that you built inside of Figma if you're a Figma designer and turn that into a fully functioning web app or website in this case. First things first, you can see we have access to Figma here. We have a bunch of different templates. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be showing how to actually implement a template instead of actually building a full entire design from scratch with Figma. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna scroll through some of the templates here to show you how to implement these. So we could go ahead and look at all these different things. I'm gonna go through the websites and let's just take a look at the landing pages real quickly so I could get a sense of you know what I'm gonna to try to actually turn into a functioning website. So I like this one for a SaaS product. So imagine that we have a SaaS product that we're trying to launch. I really like this template. Let me take a look at this closer up. If I click this play button here on the top right hand side of this screen here, I can now see exactly how this website will look. So browse everything, you know, it shows this cool little dashboard here. I mean, this is a really solid looking template for a website. And what I wanna do is I wanna basically turn this into an actually functioning website where I could click on the buttons and whatnot. So in order for me to actually turn this into a functioning website, what I need to do is I need to come over here and click on basically this part right here, which is the home page. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to copy it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to the files in Figma. I'm gonna click on design and I'm basically gonna paste this into a new project. As you can see here, we just have this home page that we're gonna try to turn into a functioning website. All right, so next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this share button up here on the top right-hand side. I'm gonna click on copy link and I'm gonna bring this over to our web app building platform called Rocket. So if you don't know what Rocket is, Rocket allows you to actually build fully functioning apps and websites using AI and simple text prompts like some of these other text to web app builders. There's this button here that says import Figma. All I'm gonna do is click on this. I'm gonna paste in that link that I actually just got inside of Figma over here. Again, all you have to do is click on share and click copy link here. And then I'm gonna bring it back to Rocket and click on start import. Now, what Rocket's gonna do on the back end is it's essentially going to take this Figma template here with all of this, it's gonna convert it into code. So it's able to actually recreate this really similarly. And then we'll have a template for us to actually begin building our website from. And then the cool thing about this, you might be wondering, Brock, why is this even helpful? What I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna import this into Rocket and then I can just basically customize this entire website website using natural language text prompts, which basically means me typing in and it'll actually make changes. For example, instead of this saying browse everything or having this dashboard, I could just write in a prompt. I say, I want you to change this text to this different text, or I want you to change these logos to a different logo. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video, but that hopefully answers your question of why is this even useful? And one thing I want to mention is if you're already proficient with using something like Figma, this becomes a really massive skill set because you could begin turning templates that you actually designed in Figma into functional apps now, which if you're a designer is pretty impactful because then you could start actually showing these as prototypes to a client and you just did it with AI. So next step in Rocket, all I need to do is select on this page here. Quick side note, if we had multiple different pages that we wanted to actually connect, we would just basically click that share button and we'd have multiple different pages here to select, but we just have one for this use case. It's just the home page. So I'm going to click on that, click on start import. And it's basically asking how we want to customize our tech stack. I'm not a developer. I don't really know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click next.js. From there, I'm just going to click JavaScript as the language. Bear with me. We're almost done with this process. And then from there, I'm going to click on Tailwind CSS. So now what it's doing is it's actually fetching this Figma design. As you can see right here, it's showing this process it's downloading these screen images. It's gonna optimize the groups and layers, download the de design assets, all of this stuff, and then it's gonna begin writing code. That's the power of using a platform like Rocket. It's able to actually code with natural language, AKA vibe coding. Next up, we're given this prompt here. So it says it'll take five to seven minutes to build per our request. So I'm gonna let Rocket do its thing and let's reconvene once this is finished. I will say it shouldn't, it probably won't be perfect, but we could easily make changes and make this look phenomenal. All right guys, so I gave it about five minutes and here is what we actually have from rocket we 
see on the left hand side we have our interaction with rocket and then on the right hand side we actually have our website here let me play around with this and actually see how functional this is we have this very similar actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to show side by side here so we can get a better comparison all right so on the left hand side we have rocket on the right hand side we actually have the one that was actually generated inside of figma so let me scroll down to rocket so it looks very very similar you can see like the layout's a little bit different as far as like this browse everything header here but it's a really solid starting point and we could actually make changes to this very simply now just by typing in so let me continue scrolling down here formatting is slightly off but again this is a really good start so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to begin making changes inside of rocket to our website so right off the bat what we could do is if we want to change this text to make it on the same line just like that figma design we could come over here click select edit and actually select the header here so we could select different user interface components inside of rocket and then basically tell it to change it basically i'm going to click on this header and say let's make the text fit on one line and giving it a very simple text prompt like that. Now Rocket should begin making this simple change to our app and we could do this across all the little changes we have. Boom, and just like that in a matter of like 15 seconds, we now have this correctly formatted text here. And basically what we could do now is we could been, begin actually making these buttons on our app functional. So it will actually take us somewhere instead of it just being, you know, just a unfunctional button here. So here's the prompt that I gave it. Using the same exact theme, font, colors, etc for our website let's now add another page called learn more this will tell more about who we are as a company once they click the learn more button and it will actually take them there we want to make this button functional here so hopefully this will actually do that what it's going to begin doing is it's going to go ahead and add in a new page into our app that basically when we click on this button it will take us there so instead of it just being this you know very basic template that we created in figma we're actually beginning the process of turning this into a simplified template into a full entire website Real Real quick, on top of actually building out a fully functioning website from a Figma design, I'm also gonna show you how to publish that website in literally one click and it's really simple to do. So before I actually show how to publish this, let's go ahead and see if it made these changes. So if I click on this learn more button now, this now takes me to a new page, transforming data into strategic advantage. What I could do if I actually had a website I was trying to build here, I just give the information for the company that I have and it would actually customize this information based on you know exactly what I'm trying to build here. Let me go ahead and feed it some data so it could actually customize this based on the actual software that we're trying to promote here on our website. All right, so I went ahead and actually fed some context on this company that we're actually trying to create a website for. So I said, for the learn more page, here is some info about our company. Please customize this page with this information. So the company is Trail Safe AI, tagline is Smart Trails Safe Journeys, and it basically breaks down our mission, where we're founded, how it works, all that good stuff. And so I'm gonna send this off to Rocket and hopefully it should begin customizing this page of our website based on all this context I provided. All right, after about a minute, we actually have this new page on our website now called Smart Trails Safe Journeys. And it basically breaks down our story based on the information I fed it up here, founded in 2021 in Boulder, Colorado. And as you can see, this is reflected here on our website, founded in 2021 in Boulder, Colorado, breaking down our mission, our values, how it works, AI powered trail intelligence, all of this stuff. So now we actually have a website tailored to our business from a Figma design that we already had as a template and we're turning into an actually fully functioning website here. This actually, as you can see, doesn't have a image. So let me quickly just add an image and show you how easily we can do this. Again, I'm gonna click on the select edit feature here. I'm gonna click on this div and I'm gonna say we want to use this image here and I'm simply gonna upload this to Rocket and, and in about 20 seconds or so, we should have an update to this. All right, so now we've got our website and we added this image here. So you can now begin to see how easy it is to actually begin adding changes to our website or our app from this Figma design that we actually started with inside of Rocket. And then real quickly, little hack, if you wanna add different user interface components, just like you can see here, you can see I changed this hero section here. So the text actually has this little like blurring effect. Like, doesn't that look pretty cool? So I used 21st.dev to do that. I just came in here. Um, I basically took a user interface component from it and yeah, I basically added added that to our app. So now that we actually built out our website, let's go ahead and publish this. To publish it, all we have to do is come up here and click on this blue publish button. You can see I already published it. You would just click publish and we could even add a custom domain 
so that way it has its own specific URL. And just like that, if I come to this URL here, you can now see our website live with all this information that we provided. And we did all this using Figma and Rocket. Hope you guys got some value from this video. This was a highly anticipated one from you guys. You guys have asked for me to do this. So I'm glad I could bring this to you. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I cover all things AI for non-techies, keeping you up to date on all the new AI trends. With that being said, guys, thanks for staying to the end. And I hope to see you in the next one.